So I want to quickly show you guys the 60 Hertz e-ink monitor from AliExpress. I'm sure many of you guys have seen it posted on Reddit. So I decided to make a video about it. Now this is on, I believe the video mode, as you can tell, it looks a little bit grainy, you know, the dithering. So um, I'm going to first start off showing this video, which I'll go ahead and enlarge it. I'll do a manual refresh real quick. And you can tell, you know, the motion's really smooth. I mean, for e-ink, it's not flashing or anything like that. There's a little bit of ghosting I could see. And then that looks like it almost wiped it out. And it'll, uh, maybe a little bit still. But for the most part, you can tell that the ghosting isn't anything severe. And, you know, the, the movement's really smooth. So there are different display modes, which... Um, you know, we have this video mode, a text mode, which is pure black and white without dithering. So there's no gray shades, no grain. And then there's also the picture mode, which I'm going to pause it because if I play the video and I have it on picture mode, it'll become really, uh, I guess, like flickery, flashing, just because it's a slower mode and, you know, it's prioritizing higher quality visuals. So I'll open up this picture here. I'll do a manual wipe. Now this is the video mode, you can tell as it's grainy. Um, I'll go ahead and switch it here. We can see that this is pure black and white, which is the text mode. There's no dithering applied, no gray shades. And then here is the picture mode, and you can tell the picture quality is a lot better. Um, obviously it's just not a good option if you're watching videos because, well, I guess I could show you kind of here. When I move the mouse, you know, you could see all the trailing and all. So if you're playing a video, it's just horrible. I don't know if it can trigger an epilepsy for someone. So I don't, I definitely don't want to show that. So, but um, here, I'll just cycle here real quick. Actually, I'll switch over to this Wikipedia tab that I have opened up. You can see there's ghosting. So now you can see that the mouse cursor kind of does like a little flash appearance. Um, and I'll try different modes, but this is smooth scrolling and then I'll try page down and page up and you could tell that, you know, using page up page down is a lot better than smooth scrolling. So I'll just switch it back over to, this is pure black and white, which I think would be better if you had the cursor enlarged, you know, with the movement, you could see it better, but, um, you know, it's really smooth. It kind of does this like weird little jitter when you scroll, which I'm not a fan of, which is why I don't really like Dasong Revo products. But you can see when I page down, page up, you know, it's a lot better. It's not doing that weird like motion blur effect, which I'll switch over to the picture quality mode. You can tell that the text is so much sharper, but obviously, you know, when I scroll, it's not the nicest to look at. But then again, if I page down, page up, even on picture mode, it's just so much better. Now, the latency and input lag and all, you know, seems really good. Um, you know, I doesn't seem to have like any delay like some e-ink devices have. Um, and by the way, I did create a e-ink um, you know, browser extension, which I haven't published yet, but I'll probably do it soon, which will give you the same sort of effect if you want on-screen buttons and manual refresh. As you can tell, that worked. Um, but one thing I'd wanted to mention that it should help with people that, you know, have trackpads that won't, I guess, you know, scroll by paging. So I'll have that feature added to it. So um, I'll add that link you know, to the video description once it's ready to be published, but I just wanted to share that. Uh, my suggestion in the meantime would be, you know, try to go through your browser settings if you have a smooth scroll disable option, or you can use like an, like a USB mouse, you know, with the scroll wheel that, you know, scrolls by steps or pages. But uh, you can tell this isn't anything that's like really bad. I mean, for the money, for, well, I think I paid like hundred and ninety dollars after shipping and tax. And I mean, for that price, for e-ink, 
you know, I would have expected something much worse. So for the money, I'd say this is really good. You know, we have an on, on and off switch on the side. Uh, you know, I'm connected over Type-C over to my laptop. It's Thunderbolt, so it's not plugged into a wall or anything. So you could basically power and display to the monitor all through, you know, a Type-C port. There is a HDMI port, which if you do use HDMI, you do have to plug the Type-C into some sort of power, you know, like laptop or the wall or something, so... But, um, yeah, there's also other, you know, before I wrap it up, there are some other buttons on the back, which I think one of them is like a timer or something like that, which I don't really use. It's kind of like a manual or an auto refresh timer. So, and then I believe there's like one or two other buttons that don't do anything. So, yeah, but, um, that pretty much wraps it up for this monitor. You know, I'm connected over Windows. I think this should work on Mac. Um, my only suggestion would be to download the app called Still Color, which turns off temporal dithering, which, you know, on Apple products, you know, they force it at all times. So it might make the screen look flickery. So I would suggest using that software if you plan to use, you know, either this e-ink or another e-ink monitor. But um, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, you know, I'm, I'm using a tablet stand, by the way, with this, but uh, it does kind of have like a VESA bolt pattern on the back it comes with like a 3d printed stand but if you guys have any questions you know feel free to drop it in the comments and i'll try to get back to you guys as soon as i can 